When it comes to diving in cold water similar to the Puget Sound, dry suits are one of the first things that come up. If you're looking for information on your first dry suit or thinking about getting a new dry suit, I'm here to share with you my experience. Hey everyone, I want to share with you why I chose the Mods dry suit as my second dry suit. So to start with, I want to go over my USA dry suit, which is my first dry suit. It's a tri-laminate dry suit that has a metal zipper, latex wrist seals, latex neck seal, integrated boots. So one thing is when I got this dry suit, I got it used both the neck seal and the wrist seals. They were, they were trash. A local dive shop replaced both the wrist seals and the neck seal. A few weeks to a month to get the turnaround on that. With the latex wrist seals, I, uh, I've been told I've been pretty lucky to get almost two years out of this seal. But as you can see, it's gotten gummy. So instead of send this dry suit into the manufacturer or to another local dive shop or learn to repair it myself, I've wanted to get a dry suit that had seals that I could exchange myself. So what I really like about the Mods dry suit is that it has options for user replaceable wrist seals, which this is a silicone wrist seal that is held on by a lock ring and dry glove system that can attach to here. So three reasons why what and what I wanted in a new dry suit. One was user replaceable wrist seals and two were dry glove system. So you can see here the dry gloves lock right on. So in addition to the latex wrist seals, I've got latex neck seal and I've already had this replaced once in the two years that I've had it. With, the, with my dry suit, I wanted the user replaceable neck seal, which is a uh, silicone neck seal. And so you do have this bit of a ring here. And once you have the suit on, you don't notice this. It just kind of sits on top of your shoulders, but you have the option with Mods dry suit to get a latex neck seal also, which is gonna be glued in and very lightweight uh, and flexible. The second time I needed my neck seal replaced, I sent my suit into USIA and had them put in a pocket. So this is the pocket they installed and it's nice that it's, it's big, but I didn't really like the, the fact that when I put something in it, the Velcro strap, it doesn't really seal that well. And also there's nothing in here to tie anything down. I'm really happy with these mods tech pockets which have an extra pouch up top here, which has multiple spots to tie something in here. I've put my spare lights in there. These tech pockets are large enough to hold something like a DSMB or a spare mask. What I liked about this dry suit was the fact that it had integrated boots. I liked it because I was able to get in and out of the suit probably faster than most other people because it just might Foot just slips in it. I can wear just a wool sock and it's easy. You can use this Velcro to get kind of a tight seal. What I wanted in my next dry suit was to still have the integrated boots that are easy to get on. And I really like these neoprene boots that Mod puts on there. They're very comfortable. And instead of a big Velcro strap, they've got this Velcro strap, which does the same thing that keeps air from going into your boot. I want to go over some of the features and give a comparison of these three dry suits. My USIA dry suit, my new Mods dry suit, and then another Mods dry suit that I have here on demo that has a little bit of different features. So with Mods dry suits, you can choose a metal zipper or you can choose a plastic zipper. You can also choose the color of the outer zippers. Nice thing with a plastic zipper is that it's a little lighter weight and more flexible and you don't have to do the maintenance of the entire zipper, but you do need to use T-zip on this little section down here to lubricate this little ending. So on my dry suit, I chose to get the heavy polyester, which is the heaviest fabric. It's very durable and that's what I wanted is, is durability. Now this is is a little bit lighter and more comfortable fabric called ripstop fabric. It's still very durable, but it's gonna be maybe a little bit more comfortable. Mods has a bunch of different 
fabric options, color options, design options, and you can even get custom printing on your dry suit. Here's an example of a customer who had a picture of his dog printed on his dry suit. Imagine the endless possibilities. Compared to my USIA, this is a pretty lightweight tri-laminate, and this was fairly durable also. I did have to repair a couple of punctures on it, which were fairly easy, so I think going with any of these, you're gonna be getting good fabric no matter what. thing with all these dry suits, they're all using SciTech valves. So with Mod's dry suit, you can choose either a push button style or a slide style. With my USIA dry suit, I did buy it used and it's not a really perfect fit. Where it's not perfect is in the inseam, so it's a little bit tight, which makes it a little bit difficult to do things like lift my leg to get it, my fins on. With mods, you'll provide all your measurements for a perfectly tailored fit. So to start out with, on my USIA dry suit, what I really liked about it was the lightweight tri-laminate material and the fact that it's a front entry, I can get into it by myself. I'm able to get in and out really quickly. I'm usually one of the, the fastest at getting geared up and ready to go. I think part of that is because my dry suit is so easy to put on. This is just very similar, with the, especially with the integrated boots. Uh, I have to get used to the dry glove system, but uh, Thanks everyone for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Stay tuned for my first dive using the Mods Dry Suit. And I got a little custom custom label here. It looks like this is in a, I think that's reflective HTV.